looking for the perfect gift for your kids this holiday? Well, give them the gift of adventure with a subscription to Little Passports. They'll receive monthly packages filled with letters, souvenirs, stickers, and more. It's a fun way for your kids to learn about geography and cultures around the globe. And Baby Talk viewers save 40% in their first month with the promo code BABY. Learn more at littlepassports.com slash babytalk. Welcome, Paul Shear, June Diane Raphael, Jason Manzukis, and an actual child. Welcome to Baby Talk. We're here at the Great Escape Club in Los Angeles. Now your host, comedian and father, Dan Levy. Oh! Yes! 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 No! Yes! Stop! Hello, and welcome to Baby Talk, the only place where children and comedians should meet. And as a new dad, the only place where I don't get vomited on. It's true. <laughs> I normally have spit up all over my body. <laughs> Things were so much easier as a parent back in the old days. You know, you could just like put whiskey on kids' gums <laughs> to stop them from crying. That's like for real. If you did that now, you would just get arrested or added to the cast of Teen Mom. <laughs> you know, I'd rather be in jail. <laughs> easier on the family. It really is. No one wants to be on Teen Mom. Speaking of moms, DJ Jensen Carp. <laughs> Jensen. Hello. How are you doing? I'm well. We're still in a kids' gym. And we're still here. Still doing a comedy Things show in a kids' have gym. have not changed. No, no, no. Still creepy. I want people to know, though, mm -hmm. how this whole thing kind of came together. Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, I was having a son. I was, I was, my wife was pregnant. I think uh, people figured that out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I know what I need to do. A comedy show. <laughs> yeah. You decided, we decided together to do this comedy show, what, four months before you had a kid? It was totally smart, I think. Yeah, yeah. Looking made, back. Your wife loved it. Your yeah. wife loved it. Yeah, yeah. My wife loves that I'm here right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Loves it. Loves it. But yeah, I, I wasn't sure if you'd be a great dad. Luckily, he is. But the idea of him, you know, waiting in line to get Air Jordans a week before he had a child terrified me. <laughs> and we figured that we could get an actual kid here to sort of help Dan out and tutor him to the ways of being a dad. It worked, kind of. No, definitely not. <laughs> it did not work, but it's been fun. Yes, it has been great. And, you know, I was having a kid, but I was like, how could Jensen, like, really, you know, help me out? Yeah. So I started Googling him. Mm -hmm. That's what you do if you need to see if someone will help you with a comedy show. <laughs> yeah. You Google them. And I... The same uh, way you found your wife, though. <laughs> not true. Actually, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I started Googling Jensen, and I found out the reason that he is actually so good about uh, doing comedy with children or performing with kids is because back in the day, he was actually a child actor. Yes. It was just me and Ryan Gosling. That's it, just us two. What, yeah. what happened? How come it didn't uh, go on? What happened? I'm, we're doing a show. Dude. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, right. right. Uh, I mean, because you know, there is like Justin Timberlake. Right. And, right, yeah. I'm lower. Okay, you're lower, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was on a show uh, that I'm very fond of called Kid Songs. It was like, all right, no, you're lying, but sure. Uh, it was called Kid Songs, and it was, it was basically Barney without the dinosaur. So we were... Uh, <laughs> It was like, it was like if, if, you know, we just sang and danced and it was weekly and I have great memories of it. I think it's great, still. Well, I, I watched it on uh, YouTube, I don't know, maybe 600,000 times. And I disagree, so why don't we roll that tape? Okay. Good morning, campers!
don't know why you're not Justin Timberlake. <laughs> well, I see much like Citizen Kane just gets better over the years, in my opinion. So it still holds up to me. I have a question. Do you guys ever have a reunion or is everyone else dead? <laughs> We don't have a reunion, we're all very busy. A lot of them don't have Wi-Fi because they're in homeless shelters. Oh. Uh, so that, we have to deal with that. Well, that's very exciting. One more time for Jensen and his mullet. When we come back, we're sitting down with June Diane Raphael, Paul Shear, and Jason Manzoukas. Don't turn the channel. Today's Baby Talk is sponsored by Scotty Vest, a clothing company known for innovative designs that keep your belongings organized and secure so you can focus on the important things in life. Specialist in functional fashion for over 15 years, Scotty Vest designs multi-pocket clothing for men and women that lets you comfortably carry and use all of your gadgets and daily essentials. With up to 42 pockets in a single item, you'll have space for your smartphone, tablet, and other gadgets, plus your wallet, keys, sunglasses, and more. Scotty Vest believes that you have more important things to do than worry about what to wear. Their customers are so spoiled by Scotty Vest's clever designs, won't even describe wearing the clothing as a vacation for your brain. You'll enjoy useful features like an attached cloth to clean your sunglasses and a water bottle holder. They even design pockets to prevent things from falling out in case you forget to close them. Go to scottyvest.com slash babytalk and get 20% off with the coupon code babytalk. I have my own cell phone. Oh, my own phone. Fly because I already have a phone. Fly. Fly. Phone. I would fly. Me too. Fly. Can I get a flying phone? Who needs flying? You could text about it. Fly would be better. Everywhere I go, I think of flying in the air. Fly. Because people would be like, oh my gosh, he can fly. And then I could start charging ambition. The baby talk. My guest, you Diane Raphael, Paul Shear, Jason Manzukis. Guys, June and Paul, you guys have a baby. Yes. As a matter of fact, we come to this place on the reg. This is normally there's not an audience or a show here. There are just children learning and playing. <laughs> And you are sullying that. <laughs> Ironically, I don't have kids. I also come here <laughs> all the time. I will say that everything is different when we're normally here, but Jensen, you DJ for a yeah. month. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good money, Paul. It really is. <laughs> My you know, kid the whole loves... side business doing kid raves. Yeah, that's no, great. They do a lot of Molly, though. Yeah. <laughs> and they've already got the pacifier. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good the, point. The kids' bop version of Run the Jewels is awesome. <laughs> Has it been easier or harder now that you have a kid? In general? Why, why, do I stand? Are you a dad? Now no. I'm nervous. No, easier, no, not, easier than you thought. Easier than you thought or harder? Well, if you remember, we saw you, I think, three weeks after I gave birth yes. at a wedding. Yeah, it was not, and you were not yeah. great then. I we barely not remember great. that. Yeah, <laughs> like the first two months have been erased from existence. Like I was been in a coma, but the coma was just dealing with a two month baby, yeah. And yeah. I saw people, you didn't do this, you were so sweet, but I saw people, I couldn't stop talking. I just couldn't stop talking. And I saw people at that wedding back away from me. <laughs> I'm not ready to be out with people. Jason, do you see them less? Well, it's it's interesting. I will say this. My life, uh, relatively un unaffected by their baby. <laughs> really haven't been rocked by. I still sleep about the same amount. I'm just now finding out I wasn't invited to your wedding. <laughs> what was it? Our wedding? No, no, no. Sorry, wrong. Dan, Dan, it was Dan. My wedding. Wedding. It wasn't Dan's wedding. Oh, yeah. It was my wedding. It was Jensen's wedding. wedding. Jensen, how dare you? Okay, all right. Um, no, I uh, I don't see them less. No, I see them still plenty. I will say this, like, like Paul and June, having had a baby, are out all the time. Like, I feel like- You were not it, very I, good parents. <laughs> <laughs> they are drinking, they are partying. Everything stayed the same. I tried cocaine for the first time. Great. And it's been great. I'm dealing with like a baby, I'm getting my life in order. Yes. Things are happening yes. always. We can guys, do it all. 
<laughs> but I do remember when I was first having the baby, I was like, oh, I can t I stay up late. I'm a cool guy. <laughs> it's not going to be a thing. But you've never stayed up late, like, constantly with, like, a woman, like, crying and, like, squeezing her breasts. I have. <laughs> I have. See, I have. Now you're painting a picture I can get on board with. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, the, the trick is, you can stay up late, but no matter what, you will get up at the same time every morning. Yeah. Like, it, 6 a.m. or 6.30 is about, that's it. It's over, like, yeah. yeah. So and you, you can't can, yeah. drink. If you drink, if you're like, you know what, I could have a drink. I'm a cool guy again, I think. <laughs> every morning that you wake up after you've drank or partied and you have to take care of a baby, it's the morning where you realize, it's like the come to Jesus moment if you were an alcoholic. Like, my life, this, I have to make a change. I didn't do it the right way. And that's just like after like two glasses of rosé at yeah. dinner. <laughs> right. Um, Jason, what's the most embarrassing thing that happened to you as a, a little child? I never like had those like quintessential like, I poop my pants in front of everybody or I peed in front of everybody. Don't judge us, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Jason. I was there last week and yeah. it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> that roller coaster yeah. was scary. It was terrifying, Jason. <laughs> terrifying. Um, but I did have like a very embarrassing in high school, and this is high school, so I'm not like a kid kid experience wherein I was doing like model UN and didn't prepare at all. And when called upon to like give my nation's speech was just like, <laughs> like dead, like gonzo, like, like Albert Brooks in broadcast news, like flop sweat. And my partner was the girl that I was like unrequitedly absolutely in love with. Oh. And she was just like, <laughs> and that lived with me for a very long time. It seems like it's still very present. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You. Do you remember so that was country? like sophomore year. I don't remember what we yeah. were. Yeah. But it was like sophomore year of high school. So, like, that's not exactly a kid embarrassment. Yeah, that's like a, a, that's like that's a an adult teenager. embarrassment. Yeah. It's a t I'm trying to think. Of, I'll try and think of a good one. I, I actually lost. I ran for president and I lost against this girl, Jill Berlingo. And uh, I also was full name, huh, Dan? <laughs> Went full for it. She's watching this shit, Joe Berlingo. Full name. But she beat me, and I liked her. Uh -oh. And I remember I, I like stole a necklace from my mom, and I gave her the necklace like before the election. Oh. And then she won, and she was like, "I won. Here's your stupid necklace back." Oh. Oh. So she's a real bitch. <laughs> So, but just to be clear, her name is Jill Bolinga. Yes, yes. I think she changed it. When we come back, we're sitting down with the Karate Kid. It's going to be very fun. <laughs> Welcome to TRLF Carson Daly. We have a very excited crowd inside. I'm here with Diddy. All right, 98 degrees in the house. Please welcome Celine Dion. It's going to be like 60 minutes with questions. Marilyn Manson, Twiggy, and Pogo. Eminem, Mark Wahlberg, Limp Biscuit! Please welcome Britney Spears, Mariah Carey. I have another present for you. Oh. Mark Hawkins is coming up, so don't think of your missus. My name is Alexander, and I beat a black belt once. How's it going? I'm good. You're wearing this outfit? Well, you picked it? Yeah, I picked this outfit. So, like, I'm going to show some karate moves. Okay, so this okay. is a karate outfit. This is a karate outfit. Are you sure? Because I was like, I didn't know. Maybe you're a pilot? <laughs> <laughs> what got you into karate? When did you decide that you wanted to do karate? Well, I tried to take a karate kid's class uh, when I was three. But they said I'm too young. Oh. And then hmm. when I started six, my friend Drew, he's an actor. Yeah. We're best <laughs> friends. So he asked me to go to like a karate place called XMA World Headquarters. Huh? I fall in love with it, and now I'm just doing XMA. That's Can I ask you a question now? Because how old are you now? 
I am seven years old. I'm seven years old. I'm and you've been to, doing it for a while now. Yeah. I'm going Do to, you yeah. now, with the skills that you have, want to go back and get revenge on the people that wouldn't let you take it back? <laughs> because you are clearly ready. You are yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. And you were there then. Go up there, you know, break in late at night. Snap yeah. next. Was it, was, was it your parents? No, I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> I like this one. You're, you're, you're yeah. choosing to use your powers for good, not evil. Well, because the whole thing about learning how to fight is that you learn to not actually have to fight. Right. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> now, Alexander, I want to ask you some questions. I feel like it's always fun to find out how old you think we all are uh -oh. up here. <laughs> so I'd like you to look at everyone up here and guess how old Jason is. I think he's in his 60s, 50s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> How about this guy? 30s all the way to 70s. Oh. <laughs> That's what I get. He's technically right. Yeah, yeah I know. You got okay. it. That's great. That was good. I feel like I've spent the most money on this answer. <laughs> it's fine, but... So how old do you think June is? I think she's in her 20s or in her 30s. Or early 30s. Or 30s. Or 30s. Or 30s. Or 30s. Or 30s. Or 30s. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, who is the oldest person you know? Apparently me. <laughs> <laughs> The person I know is the 14th Kurt Dalai Lama. You know the Dalai Lama? <laughs> yeah. Who are you? What, <laughs> what are you doing here on a web series? Uh, yeah, I'm best friends with the Dalai Lama. Wow. What, what's one thing that he's told you that you really think is important to know? <laughs> that you always have to have compassion and and like, don't try to give any act of kindness, just give it to other people and yourself and spread it around the world. Oh, wow. wow. Alex, do you have a crush on anyone right now? No. Whoa. <laughs> what about, quick that came quick. <laughs> but what about like in, like on TV or in movies? No. <laughs> You yeah. have the longest answers always ever, but this is no, hard no. We Not even like Zendaya? Do you like Zendaya? Oh, no, because I don't have crushes on girls. I have no crushes on girls. All right. <laughs> okay, but are you going to get married someday? No. Okay. <laughs> do you have a favorite fighter or a karate person? Is there somebody who is like the best that you are like, I want to be like that person someday? Well, I want to be like that person like someday. Is Bruce Lee. Sure. Okay. Do you have a crush on anyone, though? <laughs> <laughs> no. no okay. When you're not doing karate, what's your number one thing that you like to do? Acting, singing, dancing, all sorts of stuff. Oh, did you ever see kids' songs? <laughs> <laughs> this? Imagine my hair in a mullet. <laughs> if, you, if you play your cards right, you could be a DJ on a web series in 30 years. <laughs> Well, when we come back, we are actually going to see his talent, which is actually a karate thing. Yes. What? Oh, yes. That sounded so natural, Dan. Yeah, a karate yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When we come back, he's going to be doing a karate uh, sparring. Is that what it's called? Exhibit. Yeah. And and so when like um, this year. Well, look, we'll do it when we come back, <laughs> and it's going to be awesome. So stay tuned. <laughs> And is it true that you once beat a black belt? Oh, yeah. I almost beat a black belt. How'd good that enough. go? Well, it was really good. Like, yeah, I almost, like, I knocked her down, like, two times on the ground. And knocked then, her down? Yeah. I think we know why he doesn't have a crush now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can we see some of these moves that you did to the black belt when you took her down? Well, all right, if you say so, and, I'll, and I also have a form. Okay, I see it. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> 
Holy Bob. shit. <laughs> Push. Pop. Ayo. We're actually gonna raise the ante on you a little bit. We are gonna bring out our own baby talk black belt. His name is Sensei Johnny Lightning, and um, he is gonna challenge you to a spar. Are you ready to do this? Yes! Okay, Johnny, come on out! <laughs> now, he, he is a black belt, but today he's wearing his white belts. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. So, should I go hard on the handle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go real hard. Johnny, are you ready? Alexander, finish him! <laughs> <laughs> you think I would wear my actual black belt to fight this turkey? Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> Alex is starting to get down to business. So. <laughs> I'm legit scared. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's All not right. enough room. Okay, are you guys ready? How do you, you want do this? Ready? Off the uh, stage? Karate time! Yes. Oh. 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 He's too strong! Oh. He's too strong! Yes! Bob! He's really, he's really strong! Bob. 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 He's Bob. extremely Bob. strong! <laughs> Alexander, I bow to you. I would like to become your apprentice or whatever they call it in karate. Uh -huh. Which I am aware of what they really call it because I'm really a karate guy. <laughs> Will you accept my apprenticeship? Yes. Yay! Thank you, Alexander. Thank you, Johnny Lightning. Thank you, June, Paul, Jason. Hey everybody, thanks for watching Baby Talk. We asked that if you liked the video that you just physically like it right now and also subscribe to our channel. Yes, and then share the video to all your friends and there's more stuff on Jash.com. Yeah, those are all things you should do. Today's Baby Talk is sponsored by Scotty Vest, the clothing company known for innovative designs that keep your belongings organized and secure so you can focus on the important things in life. Specialists in functional fashion for over 15 years, Scotty Vest designed multi-pocket clothing for men and women that lets you comfortably carry and use all your gadgets and daily essentials. With up to 42 pockets in a single item, you'll have space for your smartphone, tablet, and other gadgets. Put a baby in there too. Go to scottyvest.com slash babytalk and get 20% off with the coupon code babytalk.